Hello guys, Sanbonan Ngui channel. I hope you are having a good evening. Just bringing you some updates as usual, Buffet too. Uh, before I even start, Buffet, I'd love to say thank you for the continuous support on the channel. So let's get to it, Buffet too. As you already know, there was this uh, saga between Nukovic and a Royal AM. He left the Royal AM without even playing an official match. And uh, they didn't pay him, you know. So his contract is terminated. He gets a notice to say he must leave. He does not get any payment, you know, so he wanted uh, Royal AM to pay him out of his contract and Royal AM failed to do that. He went to FIFA, he approached the court and he won the case asking Royal AM, pay me. I've approached the court and you haven't paid me. I, Royal AM Buffetu, they kept on being stubborn, they didn't want to pay him. And guess what? As a result, FIFA has instructed Safa to pay ban Royal AM from registering players with immediate effect. The sanction will only be overturned once uh, Royal AM is able to pay uh, Nukovic in full. That is a 12 million outstanding payment to Nukovic whose contract was unlawfully terminated last year. So there it is Buffet to clean Royal AM get a ban they will not be able to register players that one is guaranteed but the ban will be lifted immediately when shonum kize and hetla Royal am they transfer that 12 million that is due to samir nukovic so that is not so bad but i hope it's a lesson next time that if there's an ongoing issue just go and appeal because i, I saw that after the decision was made uh, Royal AM had a chance to appeal. There was a time limit for them to go and make the appeal. They did not. What they did is that they wanted to challenge if FIFA on the decision that was already made, which is not a good move. And as a result, you see now they get banned. So uh, it's not so bad for them because, like I said, as long as they pay the money, then that ban will be lifted. So let's hope which Royal AM is able to pay Samir Nukovic's money and that they are able to continue with their business because Nabo, I haven't seen them signing players. So guys, we are moving on now to some other news. Orlando Pirates striker Zakele Lipasa has said his goodbyes to Super Sport United. So it's safe to say that Orlando Pirates will have their striker back in camp. I don't, I'm not sure if he's gonna go with them to Spain, but I think that should be what's happening because he's returning to the club. He wrote on his Twitter page to say, This is one day I never looked forward to, having to officially say goodbye to what has become a home. I've spent so much time with the great people that welcomed me and made it easy for me to play. I will not forget the opportunity I was given. Thank you, Super Sports United, and good luck. So, guys, there you have it. Zakir Lipasa has said his goodbyes, and it's very much clear that Orlando Pirates have an addition in terms of a striker that returns. Uh, and we'll see. Does Orlando Pirates want to loan him out again? I don't know. At first, it's Lipasa that asked Orlando Pirates to loan him because he could see that he's not playing. Does Orlando Pirates still want to keep Lipasa? My guess is yes. Yes, they do. Definitely. Why am I saying that? Because Lipasa got a, 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 an offer coming from abroad and Orlando Pirates said no. They don't want him to go. Right? What does that mean? It means Pirates still wants to have this player. And honestly speaking, when I check the strikers of Orlando Pirates, you can talk about Chukumanja, you can talk about Erasmus. But who else is better? Who has had more goal contributions also? Zakir Lipasa for me also counts there because he scored a few goals in the first half of the season. When you look at the Orlando Pirates strikers, some of them, unfortunately, they don't have goals, you know, so he has a goal. There was also that goal that uh, he scored, but uh, it was an own goal. So what I'm trying to say is that I think he does have something to contribute to Orlando Pirates and it was a great thing for him to get experience elsewhere so guys uh, moving on to some other news congratulations to tabora khale tabora khale has finally signed a contract with a club buffet too and that is township rollers guys i remember i think last week or last of last week i told you that rachale was crying that he wants the club to play for he still wants to play football an opportunity to make it back to play football and i told you that he got an offer from township rollers that he rejected 
now it has been revealed that he had a change of heart and he has accepted the offer so congratulations to tabora Khali. he is now a township rollers player alongside uh, Utepo Matiti aka Squama, Nae Futige, uh, the Putana Giants Township Rollers have announced the signing of Usquama, uh, you know, Samantaliana. Yeah, so those are the two recent signings of Township Rollers. Wish them all the best. Usquama, I think the last time I saw him, he was playing for, he was unveiled by Ichiba United, but things didn't go well for him. So wish him all the best, Lapanagui Township Rollers. So guys, so guys, let's move on to some other news. Andy Lejali. Hey, Mshekazi. Hey, there's a lot going on about Andy Lejali. A lot of speculations. Even yesterday we talked about him. So guys, Morocco Swallows have registered their interest in the services of U Andy Lejali. Not a surprise again, especially after the appointment of Steve Compella as the head coach of Morocco Swallows. So the Morocco Swallows chairman, David Mohashwa, David Mohasha, hasn't indicated that they have made an, ish, an initial contact with Andy Lejali just to check if he is interested to join Ama Swai Swai. So Geba Fetu, Andy Lejali has a lot of offers knocking on his door. Some are even coming abroad. He has some big decisions to make. Some are saying that he's going to Spain. Some are saying he's going to Pirates. Some are Swallows. Some are saying, you know, uh, Cape Town City, Stellenbosch, Super Sport. There's a lot of clubs. But like I said yesterday, last night, before the end, in, the end of this month, we will definitely know where is Andy Lejali actually going. So guys, uh, let me close it with another free agent in the form of Surprise Ralani who has just been released by Mamelodi Sundowns and his contract will not be extended. And yesterday we talked about him once again. I told you yesterday, Iwuti, Kaiser Chiefs was linked with the player. Now, in accordance with Sokalatu Maguti Walana, Kaiser Chiefs have now started talks to sign the former Mamelodi Sundowns winger, Surprise Ralani, as a free agent. <laughs> I see someone saying they like free agents. Ah, guys, chill. Relax and buffet. <laughs> you know. So, yeah, guys, um, Kaiser Chiefs is interested in the services of Ralani. And it's not a surprise. 35 years old. He still has a lot to offer he still has something to offer i believe you know surprise Ralan is a quality player so amakosi are looking for him and i i do i would say that case chiefs does need quality players uh, that are experienced also so will this materialize again it will depend on the offer that they make him but my guess is that if case chiefs is serious about ralani and the age that he is in right now then he will join them so guys that's it for me today I want to say thank you so much to all of you for continuously supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Danko is thank you for the support. Have a great evening.